This is Sparta! Everybody, this is Seether Cord, and welcome to my 300 subscribers special. Oh my freaking god, you guys blow my mind. I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers as the channel continues to grow. It legitimately does make me feel as if this channel could potentially become a serious thing with me. I just cannot thank you guys enough for that. Thank you so much. And as promised what I did say with my 250 subscribers video, which was about only five days ago, my god. I did promise that I would answer your guys' questions for a questions and answers video that I will be doing along with this 300 subscribers video today. So let's get right on into it, shall we? First question comes in from Wesley Mellon. How did you first meet the fandom? I first encountered the furry fandom when I saw some YouTube videos and some Reddit posts from about three or four years ago, and I didn't really have a problem with it back then when I wasn't a furry because I thought to myself, you know, it's not the weirdest thing out there. Next question comes in from Switch the Husky. He asks, what got you into the crazy place we call the furry fandom? Also plans for future cons? I first would say I got into the furry fandom after encountering some furries on Skype and they seemed really interested and cool to be around and then after I looked even more into it and I saw some more furries I thought it would be cool to join into this fandom. I thought it was also really unique and it did bring out a more artistic side of me so uh, that's kind of the reason as to why I really got into the furry fandom in the first place. And when it comes to future conventions I really don't have any plan right now at the moment. I'm graduating high school in less than a month and I'm kind of starting to get my life on track first before I decide to get to invest money into any conventions. So. Until I get that all situated and I'm on my own, I don't really have any furry conventions planned to do. But when I do, I will let you guys know so you guys can like meet up with me and stalk me and such. Don't stalk me, please. Next question comes in from uh, Blaze the Firewolf. He asks, were, were you ever a fan of Legos growing up? If so, what kind of sets? Um, I was actually a really huge Lego fan growing up. I, um, I loved the uh, Lego Star Wars and Lego Harry Potter series. And um, growing up, I also really loved the Lego video games for the most part. I loved uh, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars and Complete Saga. I also enjoyed uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures on the Wii. Next question comes in from uh, Northern Deer. What happened to the Southern Deer? He asks, if Majira, Telephone, and Vixen Dog, or Vixen Dunk, all ran for president of the fandom, who do you think would win? Um, personally, I don't know who would win in that scenario. But if it came down to who I would vote for, I would not vote for any of them and would instead write in Harambe. Harambe is my first who crush. Next question comes in from a Loose Knight. He asks, Cheesecake. Yes, this is a literal question. Hmm. I'm just, 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 keep, just cheesecake, man. You know, you can't, can't go any better than cheesecake, you know? I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Real late at night. Real late at night. Uh, Mystic Leopard Gaming, aka the person that drew this current icon that you're looking at, shout out to her, uh, Mystic underscore Arts on Instagram. Uh, she asks, what band slash music genres do you listen to? Um, if you ask me, I personally don't listen to a specific genre or a band. I mostly just listen to music of whatever I think sounds good to me, no matter what the genre or artist is. If I had to say I had a favorite band, um, when I was younger, I really liked Panic at the Disco. And then I slowly regretted it as I got older. <laughs> also, I just want to clear out of the way, um, Hobson is the best rapper alive. And uh, second place is Eminem. If you disagree with me, fuck you, you're wrong. They are the greatest lap rappers alive. If you, if you disagree with me, you, you're, you're, you're an idiot and you should kill yourself. Uh, next question comes in from uh, BZ Gamer 1147 he asks, how did you think of the design of your fursona? Never seen a canine with blue fur and long pink hair. Well, uh, to be completely honest with you, Mr. 1147, um, the design of Seether uh, was actually based off of a very disturbing dream I had where I was uh, forced to be baptized in a pool of blue Kool-Aid and then dried off in a uh, giant bag of flaming hot Cheetos. It was, it was, it was a very terrifying experience and um, I, I can't sleep well at night anymore. But on a more serious note, um, I really just came up with the design because of the fact that um, uh, I just usually, I mostly used uh, colors that I felt like best fit my personality slash colors that I genuinely found to be my favorites. 
And I also tried to work off the concept of using as very little uh, complexity as I could because I feel like that so many people in the fandom try their best to like make their personas so complex to the point where it just looks like a complete disaster. So I feel like it actually is kind of more original if you don't put that much effort into making it as complex as you can. And I just feel like putting the few favorite colors I have together just makes me, you know, enjoy my persona a lot more. Last question comes in from a WS Dos Rocket. He asks, where did you get the idea for your persona? Have you ever had any other sonas? Um, I kind of already answered most of that first question you have from the last person. Um, I would say when it comes to the name aspect though, uh, I got the name that just came simply from my head. A lot of people thought I got influenced by the band known as Seether, which I didn't even know existed until like literally after I already finished the design of him. And the chord part, I just thought it would have been like, you know, just like a nice connection, you know? I also picked the name Seether because I felt like it was a nice breezy name, if that makes any sense. And when it comes to if I've ever had any other personas, I have not. I have thought of making more, but I've never really gotten around to doing it yet because I just don't feel like it's the best time for it. That's just me personally. So that pretty much wraps up this Q&A. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who participated. Uh, please go down and check out all the people that uh, sent me questions. They deserve it. And uh, here's to another 300 subs or getting us to like a thousand or 10,000 or a hundred thousand maybe. I don't know about a hundred thousand, but that's actually a personal goal. I think it'd be cool to meet like a hundred thousand, you know, get that nice little silver play button, you know, but that's besides the point. You know, at the end of the day, all that matters is the fact that at least 300 of you guys were willing enough to press that button and then subscribe to me and then come back daily. That means so much to me. Thank you. So that pretty much wraps up this 300 subscriber Q&A video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button to further help out my channel, as well as subscribing if you have not already and you want to see more of my content. And that's pretty much all I have left to say for today. I have been Seethercord, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.